Now, if I'm going to travel all this distance to go to one of these places, I don't want to go to a Mars-like place. I want to go to You've got Mars, that. much yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want to go to that. So how do we find that? Okay, so we'd like to see at least, does the planet actually have an atmosphere? That would be nice to know. Mm. Is it really the right size? Does it have water? Um, and for that, we're going to have to actually take a picture of it, probably, to work out most of these things. But you just said it's fairly bright to take it, so how do we do that with the star? Yeah, so you're, you're dazzled by the star nearby, which is a billion times brighter. But this is actually a problem that probably will be solved in the next 20 or 30 okay. years. Okay, okay. Um, there are various, there's a whole bunch of different proposals out there, flying space interferometer telescopes yep. and things like that. This is one particular proposal called HABEX, yep. which may or may not get launched sometime in the next 20 years. Uh, but the idea is you have a two-stage spacecraft, actual telescope, and yes. a star shade. Okay. So um, this is an impression of what it might go. So you'll see the uh, separate, there's a star shade, and that will be a very long distance away from the actual spacecraft. Mm -hmm. So effectively, it's acting as a very long two-stage uh, mission. Oh, okay. And the idea would be the, the sunshade would have to unfurl somehow so you could fit it into the nose cone of your rocket. Well, but they did have the James Webb Space Telescope, so this yeah. could be solved. And this doesn't have to be anything like that level of precision. Yeah, that's right. And then that flies off. And then you get the actual, it goes in front of a star. Mm. So it could so be like so millions of kilometers yeah, away from your yeah, telescope. Yeah, yeah. But the two have to fly in formation, and line it up. Yep. So this blocks out the light from the star. And with the starlight blocked by the sunshade, you can, see, you can the then planets. see the planets. So the key is you have to have a, this shade really far away from the telescope, but still nowhere near that star, just far away from it. Yep. Always working so they'd together. they both be, say, the Lagrange points of the Earth. Exactly. Um, but they would be maybe millions of kilometers That's apart right. to give you that very precise shadow to allow you to see the details. And there's a lot of work of going on of formation flying as we kind of touched on with a lot of the technology going on. So that kind of could be solvable as well. Yes, yeah, so this could probably be done. It would probably be very expensive and take decades, but it's decades, not centuries. Yeah. So probably we will know, um, probably within our lifespans, definitely within your lifespan, yeah. you youngster, um, <laughs> whether the plants around nearby stars actually are habitable. Yeah, okay. that's something we'll know maybe in a couple years. of decades. OK, and I guess, I mean, that's not that dramatic. It's only been 30 years or so since we actually discovered the first planet anyways. Yes, that's actually pretty remarkable progress. That's right. But then, of course, we have to go there.